Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another video and today is time for a Money Making Monday video. So get ready to learn what sells. If you're not familiar with this series, uh, these sales come from my Facebook group called Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay. Anybody can join though. We started this back in 2008 with um, some moms and others who were selling on eBay as a way to network online and share our sales and help each other. So what we do in this thread is we put um, what we bought, where we bought it, how much we bought it for, a link to the item, and how long it took to sell if you can remember. And we link to the item so that you can go see all the details about the listing if it was fixed price, auction, free shipping, the description, all that kind of stuff, the keywords in the title. So that can help you with your business and if you have a similar item to sell and also to uh, be on the lookout for these items that you may not know have value on eBay. So we are on December 18th. Today is actually the 20th and there are already 331 comments on this week's thread so we're going to go ahead and jump in and start talking about all these great things that everybody sold so let's start with Teresa here she purchased this item at Goodwill for a dollar sold in four months for full asking price of $24.95 and this is interesting because this is such a utilitarian type item um, I've had these before in the past. Um, it's just a wooden drying rack and uh, this is the kind of stuff people give away or um, donate when they're moving, don't need it anymore, that kind of thing. And it's just your basic wooden drying rack. Uh, looks, you know, well made. And I will venture to say that many of you clothing sellers have one of these and use it for your hand wash items or if you don't want to put clothing items in the dryer um, items that you have bought at thrift stores and are reselling which yes you should absolutely wash these clothes before listing them please see my video above about that I won't go into that whole diatribe yet <laughs> but um, if the you know use clothing wash it in the washing machine yes it is a business expense if you had a restaurant and had tablecloths you would be washing those if you had a bed and breakfast and had sheets and linens and towels you'd be washing those this is part of doing the business you have to wash the clothes if it is a delicate item you can hand wash it in the sink with woolite or any of those um, you know just a, a dab of the uh, gentle detergents that kind of thing if it is a new with tag item what I do is remove the tag uh, put the item in the dryer with dry L to at least sanitize it and reattach the tag um, I don't think this is misleading in any way the item is still new with tag and the customer is just getting it without all of the thrift store germs and junk and whatever might have crawled into it at the thrift store they're getting it actually better than new with tags so I'm sure that's going to open up a lot of conversation and I didn't mean to get off topic about this drying rack um, but I just keep seeing this on the internet about people not washing their clothes that they're getting at these uh, you know the bins or or wherever and it's just um, you've got to wash these clothes it's just uh, it's just unconscionable to me that you would send this type of item out to someone as your customer and it be filthy just because it looks clean doesn't mean it is okay the end of that so anyway here's the information about the drying rack she did not do free shipping and this was a fixed price listing so perfect sale one of your uh, bread and butter type items here's Teresa again with some mugs she got these for 50 cents each at a yard sale and sold for full asking price of $24.95 let's see what this brand is it is Wagner stoneware stamped mugs so these look like they're pretty 
easy to recognize, which is what I like about uh, unique items. They're easy to recognize in the thrift store. So they've got the, uh, the you know, handmade pottery look to them. And on the bottom, they're stamped Wagner stoneware. So that was easy enough to know who made them so that you could look them up and get comps. So not a bad flip for 50 cents a piece and selling the set for $24.95. She charged $10.50 shipping. Um, and this was a fixed price listing. Also, if you are on the fence about free shipping versus not, I have a video about that. I get this question, I don't even know how many times a week, but um, go watch my video about that because in my opinion, it really doesn't matter. Just pick one and do it. Um, eBay used to reward us in search for free shipping, but they stopped doing that around 2014. So uh, I've been back and forth with it in my almost 15 years on eBay, and it really does not make a bit of difference. eBay's just trying to be more competitive with Amazon by offering, you know, getting us to offer the free shipping. Okay, Kathleen sold a Lululemon yoga jacket for $98. Wow. It took two or three months, bought it for a dollar at a church rummage sale. Gotta love those church rummage sales because it's just, um, it's basically a free for all. It's just, you know, what is there and what do you know about it? Um, and this, you know, this is one of those definitely athleisure. If you haven't seen my video about that uh, keyword, it's called athleisure. It's actually a, a thing. Um, but Lululemon is a expensive brand, and even though it doesn't look like it, some of the things just look like um, they came out of the hamper. <laughs> but that's the brand. So this is a jacket, uh, meat size medium, zip up, cowl neck. She did not do free shipping, and this was a fixed price listing. And then she's got her description down there. Yay for putting the measurements on there. Measurements are always going to help you sell more items because buyers don't have to ask and they don't have to wait for you to answer. A lot of times if the information is not on the listing, buyers will not take the time to ask. Everybody's in a hurry. People don't want to wait to get answers. If the information isn't provided, they're going to move on. Okay, so congratulations, Kath Catherine. That is a fantastic sale. A dollar and turned it into $98. Okay, Bethany um, paid $3. It's going to Australia. Sold for $60 plus shipping in two days. This is why you've got to get those items listed. It could sell immediately and you have that money in your pocket very quickly. So it's a men's um, RRL which is Ra uh, Ralph Lauren, basically. And it's just a thick men's uh, like work shirt, over shirt, nice quality. These do well. So it's RRL Western Denim. Um, one improvement here is I would have put Ralph Lauren in the title because this is a Ralph Lauren brand, so it's not keyword spamming, but you may have gotten more hits faster if you had um, include actually Ralph Lauren in the brand, but still a great sale. You turned $3 into 60, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's going to Australia. So if you're not shipping internationally, you're missing out on that. Okay, let's see. Maddie got this for free, listed it, and was the only one listed. Not sure how long I had it, but it sold for $12. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> it is some software. My Software Database Professional with Keys version 1.0 for Windows. I know nothing about software, so I would not have picked this up. <laughs> but the point here is that Maddie did and made a little money on it. So got it for free and listed it for $12. 
So doesn't matter what it is listed, it can sell. Janine paid $3.99 at Goodwill, sold for asking price of $39.97 a little over a month later. Let's see what this is. Christian Dior Paisley Robe. So that is definitely an interesting item. It's got it displayed. In, oh, it's got the pajama shorts with it. And this was fixed price, was not free shipping. I see more and more people getting away from the free shipping just because um, I personally just find it better for my bookkeeping to know what's coming in and know what's going out. Around tax time, it's just easier because everything's already separated. Um, your sales numbers can look overinflated if your um, shipping is included in the price. So I just like everything separated out. To me, it gives a, a more true and clear picture of your business to separate those expenses. So that's just my opinion. So this was $3.99 and sold for $39.97. And then Janine's got another one here, overalls. And I often pick these up too because they just sell well. And what'd she say she paid? $4.99 at Goodwill and sold six weeks later for $39.97. And here they are, um, Wrangler. And that's not even a high-end brand of jeans. It's just very, um, I call them utilitarian, just basic everyday wear. They're vintage and um, she's got them displayed nicely on her mannequin. She did not do free shipping and this was a fixed price listing. And um, her description there is short, sweet to the point, very good. So den um, overalls are great sellers all year. Um, and they're very expensive new. I lived, as I say many times, I lived on a farm in Tennessee back in the 90s and um, we, you know, bought farming clothes, I guess, gardening clothes and stuff like that. And it's expensive, you know, and eBay wasn't around then. If I had known how to get them used, I definitely would have, but um, those weren't cheap. So people are always looking for those deals online and eBay is the place. So let's see what else we've got here. Jill, uh, this was in a bag of junk ornaments at Goodwill for $3. About half of them should sell, but this figurine sold in a matter of hours after listing for $15 with free shipping. So let's see what this is. Oh, how cute. This is Santa and Mrs. Claus Christmas Village Porcelain Figurine. Very cute, and the brand is called Lefton. So when you're, if you're new to this and you're out at Goodwill or wherever flipping all the ceramic stuff over, and most of it says "Made in China, Made in China, Made in China," um, and then you see something like this with a little sticker on it, or um, you know the date is is older, meaning uh, at least 20 years old. Um, look that up. It may be something. Most of it's made in China dollar store crap, but Goodwill can't catch everything. These thrift stores can't catch every single thing. And, you know, their employees turn over so much. There's no way they can learn. You know, they, they give them hints on things to pull that might be expensive to put in the cases, but there's just so much coming in there, they can't catch it all. So she sold this for $16.99. Oh, fifteen dollars with free shipping, and she got it for three dollars. So that was a quick flip and a fun, you know, Christmas item to sell. Um, I still would have picked that up no matter what time of year it was because people do sell that Christmas all year long. Okay, Erica bought this Icelandic design sweater at a thrift store for three twenty-five. Sold in a few weeks for full price of sixty-nine ninety-nine plus shipping. This is why we love eBay is because. Well, for me, I just love the process. I love finding beautiful things and, you know, thinking, oh, someone's just going to love this. This is gorgeous. Uh, this is going to be perfect for somebody. And I get to be part of that process that rehomes these items and I get to make money doing it. So, um, you know, it's still after 15 years almost, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable to me that I get to do this for a living. And 
it's fun and I enjoy it. And I'm just never going to be one of these people who is trying to list 100 items a, a day or, um, you know, trying to do this as fast as I can go because the joy in this is finding beautiful things, interesting things, and rehoming them to people who are going to love them and enjoy them. At the same time, you're keeping stuff out of the landfill. You're, um, you know, you're using the resources around you in your community or wherever you're shopping. And I just love the process. So that's why I don't, uh, you know, do all these things about, you know, you have to list 100 items a day or, you know, all these listing challenges to see how much you can do and how fast you can do it. Because um, I love the process and I like to um, I like putting the clothes on the mannequin I like making the pictures look nice I like describing the items in the listing um, I don't want this to be a race you know this whole thing is it's not a destination it's a journey and you should enjoy it um, you know some of the the, ba the best um, artists in the world and chefs and you know carpenters or people who create things they're not trying to do it as fast as they can go they're doing it and putting you know love and joy into it because they love what they do and the outcome is so much better so that's my little speech but um, so this right here is why we do those of us who love the business because we can find beautiful things like this that someone has thrown out and get it for three dollars and sell it for seventy dollars and that person is happy to give us their money because they want this beautiful item so look at this sweater it's just gorgeous it's got the the boiled wool here with the embroidery um, you know the the checkerboard accent pattern um, beautiful this hand stitch design and a lot of love and care went into making this item whoever made it loves loves their business of making sweaters um, the colors are gorgeous and you know it's well made you can tell by the stitching that it's very well made here's the brand if you're not familiar Icelandic design so look for that 100% wool um, so it's it's high quality it's gonna keep somebody warm and they're gonna be fashionable at the same time and she sold it for $69.99 she did not do free shipping this was a fixed price listing and she's got her measurements down here and just a beautiful beautiful piece that someone is going to love and Erica got to go to her thrift store she found this she was smart enough to say I can resell this she put it on eBay somebody bought it in a few weeks she's made her money she's made that customer happy the thrift store got their money the post office got their money eBay got their money PayPal got their money everybody wins so on that note I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna pick up and um, continue on in another video uh, that I will post in a couple of days so Thanks so much for watching. Would love your comments below. Sorry if my commentary got uh, out of control. I'm in two cups of coffee this morning and a little wound up, I guess. So <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.